as a Christian, is there any trouble squaring the, your Christian identity, your faith in God, your faith in Jesus with, I have to go kill bad people who are going to go do bad things if they're not taken out? So two, two things to touch on there, because you brought up a great uh a great topic that, that a lot of times guys don't touch on it's your identity. And, and really I, you know, you're, you're, we all have a bunch of different identities. My primary identity is a Christian Christ follower. Most important thing in my life. The next one would be husband. The next one would be father. And then a, a bunch of other stuff after that. Uh, it is super, super important that w- as you order your identities, you know, as you as you look at it and go, well, this is the most important thing in my life, that everything that is below, you know, that, that is a lower priority is in line with the ones that are above it. Um, and so that that's super, super important. So now getting specifically into, you know, killing and, uh, you know, so an example that I use almost every class that I teach, I, I do a mindset talk. And then we'll talk about, you know, as, as part of your willingness, what are you willing to do? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about, uh, you know, this, this book that is out there that probably most of us have somewhere, you know, some, some book, some of them are more used than others, but in, in that book, there's a list of rules. And if we look at a King James Bible, right. Ta- talking about Bible, uh, one of the rules in there is thou shalt not kill. So how do we, how do we square that away? How do we rectify that? So first off, the ancient Hebrews had different words for killing, just like we do, right? If you, you know, if driving home from work tomorrow, a guy steps out in front of you and you run him over, that is different than if you just look at your neighbor's car and you really like it. So you decide to go kill your neighbor to take his car, right? right? Those are completely different things. And we recognize that the ancient Hebrews recognized that. So while the King James version is not technically incorrect by saying thou shalt not kill, because if you murder someone, you did kill them. However, not all killing is murder. And the word that is over or the the word that is used there is overwhelmingly used in the context of murder, not in the context of killing. One of the things that uh, actually is I was sitting through my oral board for selection uh, to go to the command, that is one of the things they asked me. They said, hey, you're, you know, you claim to be a Christian and yet you're screening to go to an organization where we might ask you to kill people. Um, and it was actually, it was the psychologist that, that, uh, that brought this, this question up. And I said, well, I'm, I'm, you know, glad you asked. Actually, I may not have said, I'm glad you asked that. Now I would say, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, but at, at the time I just, I, I launched into, well, you know, the Bible talks about David and David being a man after God's own heart. And David killed so many people that they wrote songs about him. I mean, the Israelites had songs. Saul is slain as thousands and David is tens of thousands. And yet still David was a man after God's own heart. Right. And so David was right. David screwed a bunch of stuff up um, and he was guilty of murder. But it was when he took, uh, you know, another man's wife and then had the, the man murdered. Right. He was not. Uh, you know, he was not guilty of murder when he was killing Philistines in battle. Uh, so that, that was my answer to the psychologist and he didn't like it. And, and the team guys liked it. So it was, <laughs> but fortunately it's more, the, uh, the, the team guys have more say than, than the psych does. Um, so I guess to, 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 to circle around to that question, it is absolutely, they, they are two different things. Murdering someone is different from killing someone to protect yourself or to protect your family. Cause really there's no malice. I mean, I, I remember going in on targets and actually like, especially when I knew there was going to be pre-assault fires on targets, pr- actually praying for the guys um, that were fixing to die um, from, from, you know, the pre-assault fires just be, because the Bible says we're supposed to pray for our enemies. Um, it, it was something that was hard for me at times to not hate those people, um, because, you know, a, a bunch of my good friends died over the years, um, fighting them. And, you know, so that was something that, you know, that I had to deal with because we're, we're not supposed to hate people. We're, we're supposed right. to love our enemies. Um, but no, there's definitely, uh, as, as I read it and, and I have gotten significantly more serious about the, you know, like, honestly, I feel like as a, as an active duty guy, I was too nonchalant about killing. I, I honestly, it, it's, it's actually uh, something I'd like to write an article about. I've, I've been talking about it for a couple of years now. Maybe, maybe someday I will do it, but just this whole, 
mentality that like, Oh, you never get over it. And it's, it's this, this horrible burden that you carry. And man, I, I didn't experience that. And honestly, I don't think any, any of the guys that I, that I was with experienced that. And I think in, in a large part, it's because our mindset was correct. We looked at it as, Hey, we're, we're going in, you know, to kill bad guys, right? It's not, it's nothing personal. Um, I mean, so, sometimes maybe we, we made it a little bit personal, but it's really, it's not a, it's not a personal thing. It's, Hey, you guys, your, your ideology is trying to take over the world and you're trying to kill our people. And, and therefore better for me to go down range and kill you over there than, than to wait until you come to our lands and, and kill more of us over here. 